Oh, thank you, you all too sweet. Okay, so I decided to do this on a live stream so more people can hear what I'm about to say. And I got a question in my inbox. So I thought like questions, I might as well, you know, just advertise it to more people so more people get this message. But I got a, this question from um, someone who's experiencing some problems with adhering to the vegan diet specifically. I'm not too sure if they understand the vegan philosophy. I think they do, but it's more adhering to the diet. So their heart's in the right place, but they're having some problems adhering to um, the foods. So we'll read out uh, the question here. Hi there, Joey. I need some advice. I've been for a year. Ah, okay. I think maybe she left out vegan. Okay, so let's just, I'll fill in the gaps for this person here. So hi there, Joey. I need some advice. I've been vegan for a year and passed on the conversation to many people, which ultimately led to a few becoming vegan and many more conscious of what they're eating. However, I've just come back from a two week holiday and I've been struggling. Example, having the occasional slice of margarita pizza at work, buying chocolate sometimes, that has led me to buying cheese products in the supermarkets. Every day I tell myself to stop, but I'm actually really struggling. Have you got any advice for people like me who know all the debate points and know exactly what I'm doing is wrong so I can go back to being the beautiful vegan I once was? Now, this is interesting. We're gonna tackle this a few ways. But firstly, um, I'm not n sure you can go back to being vegan. See, vegan, vegan is, veganism is a belief that you hold. It's an ethical principle. So you hold that principle, but it seems that your actions aren't consistent with the principle that you believe in. So one of two things can happen here. It can be your, your, the people you're surrounding yourself with. You don't have like a vegan support network. You, maybe you're not on exposed to the online community and, and reinforcing this as much as you could be. Uh, two, you are not fully aware of the consequences of those actions. And the reason I say fully is in principle, you might understand it by you know hearing people talk about it, but actually seeing it uh, hits you on a different level. So first thing I would do for an individual like this is, I know it's tough, but it seems like you really wanna be consistent with your beliefs and your actions. What I would do first is watch Dominion. You can find it online, uh, just YouTube Dominion, D-O-M-I-N-I-O-N. -I, I always have problems spelling that when I'm under the pressure, but Dominion, watch it. Um, I've seen it about 10 times and it highlights the victims and their stories and it goes into depth uh, uh, in every area of the animal exploitation industry. So I would watch that through to the end to remind yourself at what the animals are going through. That would be my first thing and that's what I recommend for new vegans, for people who are doing a vegan challenge Number one thing, watch Dominion. If you're in the UK, watch Land of Hope and Glory on YouTube. But Dominion covers every aspect of animal exploitation fairly well and it's pretty, you can apply it across the board for most countries. I mean, it's Australia. It does cover some country, other countries at the end, but Australia sort of prides itself on animal welfare. And if Australia are treating animals like that, then you can just only guess what the other countries are doing. So watch Dominion first, then I would try to find alternatives for the foods that you're craving. Okay, pretty simple too. Now if you want a margarita pizza, um, maybe you could wait till you get home and get some vegan cheese and cook one up. Or you could use an app called Happy Cow, Happy Cow app, and it will show you where the vegan restaurants are near you. I don't know where you, where you live, but pretty well sure there's vegan options in most parts of most developed countries. Or you could head on to the internet, uh, head on to Amazon or one of these order sites and you could order these vegan products from one of these sites. So you can get your chocolate and amazing chocolate 
Vego bars are amazing. They taste like Nutella in a bar. Uh, you can find amazing vegan alternatives and cheeses. Uh, if you have access to the internet, then you have access to vegan cheese, I would say. Um, it might be a little bit of, you know, work to find where they are at the start, but I'm sure you can find these alternatives in the supermarket. And after watching Dominion, I'm sure you'll have the motivation to do that. So I think for this situation, this person here feels bad about purchasing the products that they know contribute to animal exploitation and harm. So I think um, support goes a long way in these situations. Um, it's not like someone who's conscious of the animal abuse they're causing and doesn't care. This person obviously does care a lot. So don't kick yourself too much over these. Like don't, don't make a mistake and then throw everything out, you know, and start going full carnivore like some people do. I'm not suggesting that's what you're doing. You're just making, there's a few products that you've just fell into eating, consuming stay on track you can get back on track very easily if you fall off the wagon you can get back on track okay and myself i have the constant motivation of the suffering of the animals and i couldn't dream of consuming animal products i just it, i wouldn't consciously do that sometimes i have nightmares <laughs> sometimes i have nightmares that i've actually you know gone back and eaten animal products but I wouldn't in this reality do that. There's just no reason to. And I'm, and I'm so fundamentally disgusted with the industries that harm innocent animals. It'd be like purchasing child porn or doing some other form of, you know, exploitation to humans. I just wouldn't do that. Like I just wouldn't contribute to, knowingly contribute to that type of suffering. But that's because I'm heavily exposed to what happens to animals every day. And I, I actually use my voice to fight for them. So... I think you just, what I would do personally is watch Dominion, remind yourself of why you went vegan and, you know, start to align your actions with those beliefs again and make a commitment to do that in your mind, make a commitment. So I'm going to commit to doing what it takes to finding alternatives to these products and there, it really is easy once you find your feet with all this. So, um... This might be unusual to a lot of long-term vegans who just couldn't dream of doing that, but I mean, we, we all haven't been vegan for our whole lives, have we? At the start, when I first went vegan, I didn't even know about honey and I was like eating products and I didn't check the label properly. And see, I was making some mistakes at the start as well. Um, and you know, I was checking some of my clothes and realizing, oh my God, like there's animal products in my clothes. And then I realized that my quilt had was a goose down quilt and there was feathers in there and I'm like oh my god what am I I'm chucking this in the bin <laughs> so I even uh, found out that my shoes that I was wearing my Nike shoes I bought them when I got out of prison um, had leather trim okay and I found that after being a year into animal rights activism you know and I was disgusted and I threw them away there's probably better ways of you know getting rid of shoes when they have leather on them but I was just so disgusted that I had these shoes and I didn't know they had leather on them so you know, don't kick yourself when you're a new vegan and you're making mistakes, but just don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, sort of, to speak. Like, don't just, you had a bit of chocolate, you had a bit of pizza, and now, oh, I'm throwing it all out the window. And I just don't think kicking yourself over it is the best way. I think just acknowledge the mistake and change it. But if you if you know you're making a mistake and you don't change it, that's a problem too. That's a problem too. So... In conclusion, I watch Dominion. Remind yourself at the horrific suffering animals endure on a day-to-day -day basis. And then ask yourself, is a piece of margarita pizza or a bit of you know, full dairy chocolate worth that? When I could be a little bit um, proactive and find these alternatives on the internet, in my area, with Happy Cow, and then make choices that reflect my belief system towards animals. So I hope that helped out. I hope that helped anyone else going through that. I don't think we, I think we need to be supportive of new vegans and, and I think you need to be supportive of yourself as well. So your inner voice matters a lot and you have an inner dialogue with yourself. It's like an internal audience and it tells you when you're doing the right thing or when you're not, it's like a conscience sort of thing. And every time you do something that is against your ethical beliefs, 
you're chipping away at your own conscience. You're like, oh, I'm not doing something that's consistent. So that, that's not gonna put you, it's not gonna put everything in alignment. That's not gonna put you in the best emotional state. You're not gonna feel good about yourself. And who wants to live like that? You wanna do things that support good emotional health and that are consistent with a good human being. I'm sure you are, because you obviously are a good human being to reach out to me, a full blown animal rights activist, uh, to tell me that you've been consuming animal products. So you obviously care about this a lot and you are searching for advice and you probably don't have a support network around you, which I do, I have a support network and I'm, so, so from my perspective, I couldn't imagine doing that, but from your perspective, it probably looks a lot different. So I just wanna say that you have our full support and we hope you get back on track. And if you wanted another level of support, you could even try doing a vegan challenge again. Um, so you can go, go to the link in my bio, in my Instagram there, or in my YouTube channel. In the description is a link to Challenge 22. And you could just do a vegan challenge to refresh yourself. You've got a community on there, support network. They've got you know, plant-based doctors and dietitians in there. And you know, you just get back into it. Do it as a challenge. And then obviously veganism is not a challenge. It's an ethical principle you adhere to for life. So after the vegan challenge, you'll feel refreshed, you'll feel um, emotionally um, more consistent and there's no, no conflict going on and then you can go on and you know they probably will even help you find these vegan alternatives in your area too. So boom, problem solved. You've watched Dominion, you've realized, wow, this is really serious and now I'm going to align my actions with my morals once again. So I hope that helped you all. Uh, I'll speak to you again soon. If you've got some type of question that you would like me to answer in a live stream like this, I'll try to get to them. I can't promise you, but you might be lucky and I might find it and be able to answer it uh, just as I have with this individual. And yeah, keep those love hearts flowing for her. And I believe in you. And let's all, you know, be a supportive group of vegans who can help people make more ethical choices. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.